everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is longest valid parenthesis which is marked as a hard level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one string s and this string s will be containing consisting only two characters that is the opening and closing parenthesis okay so uh, this string s can contain only two characters first one is this opening parenthesis and second one is this closing parenthesis so there can be various uh, sequences of these like opening 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 and then closing then again opening then again closing closing so in this way there can be uh, various uh, combinations of these uh, parenthesis okay and what we have to do we have to return the longest valid parenthesis so before that let's understand what is a valid parenthesis okay all right so valid parenthesis is basically here two points are written for every opening parenthesis there is a closing parenthesis and the closing parenthesis must be after its opening parenthesis okay all right so here it is saying key like this is a valid parenthesis this is a valid parenthesis because uh, for this opening parenthesis this is closing one and it's after it okay all right so if i say uh, is this a valid parenthesis yes because look uh, this for this opening this there, there is this closing and for this opening there is this closing okay so it is a valid parenthesis similarly Uh, if I say something like this so is this a valid parenthesis no because look for this opening parenthesis this is the closing one for this opening parenthesis this is the closing one but for this opening parenthesis and this opening parenthesis there is no closing one so this is not a valid parenthesis okay all right i hope you guys are getting what is a valid parenthesis and i have also explained it in detail in one of my previous video which i made yesterday uh, so you can you can check it that out as well okay all right now i think what is a valid parenthesis will be clear so what we have to do we have to return the longest valid parenthesis okay so we have to tell the length of that substring uh, which is valid so longest valid parenthesis substring okay all right what does this mean so if i take this example here something like this is there okay all right so here we can see that for this uh, opening there is this closing one for this opening there is this closing one so this is a long this is a valid parenthesis substring this is a valid parenthesis substring what is its length its length is four so there is only one valid parenthesis substring here which length is four i will simply return four okay all right uh, moving on let's see some other as well so here let's see this example third so here we are given something like this okay all right so what is the longest valid parenthesis here for this parenthesis there is this closing one its length is two and for this opening parenthesis there is this one with its length is also two so there are two valid parenthesis substring whose lengths are two two so i will return any one of them and my answer will be two okay but for suppose let's suppose here it is something like this so here this parenthesis uh, length is 4 and this parenthesis length is 2 so i will simply return 4 okay all right so this is what we have to do and i think the problem statement will be also very very clear to you it's a easy problem statement but the logic is great one okay all right so if i think the problem statement will be clear let's move on to the approach but before that if you have not subscribed the channel yet please hit the subscribe button like the video because i'm giving my full effort and uh, like uh, like you will get daily questions here okay all right so moving on let's think of the approaches one by one so for the parenthesis checking we use stack and what we do uh, we basically check the stack dot peak if it is uh like for this opening bracket if there is a closing bracket of this so it is a valid parenthesis okay so we use stack data structure for it but how can we find the length of it how can we find the length of longest valid parenthesis okay so one approach is coming in my mind what i will do uh, earlier if i will store these brackets into this stack something like this i will not be able to uh 
I will not be able to do what? I will not be able to get the index of it. Like this parenthesis was at what index? This parenthesis was at what index? We cannot get that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, not store the parenthesis. I'm going to store the indexes of these parentheses okay all right uh, like with that only we can find the length ki yaar, this much is balanced so what my approach will be let me tell you uh, first of all i will simply if there is um okay so first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to add indexes so let's first of all go, go to zero so if we are getting any closing parenthesis first of all and the stack is still empty i will simply store it like the first index which is zero okay all right it is stored okay after that when i get the opening parenthesis okay let's add that index as well so one index is added after that i get a closing parenthesis okay so look when i get a closing parenthesis um i have like i will check in stack stack dot peak is stack dot peak a opening parenthesis yes like one in one index is a opening parenthesis currently i am getting the closing parenthesis so it is a valid one so i will simply remove one from my stack okay all right now again i get three so when i get three whenever there will be an opening parenthesis i will simply add it okay so i'm going to add it uh, like third index i have added okay after that again there is a closing parenthesis whenever there will be a closing parenthesis i will check in my stack is stack dot peak uh, opening parenthesis yes third index is a opening parenthesis so remove the stack well. okay after that again i get a opening parenthesis so like whenever i will get opening parenthesis no checking simply add the index so five index is added okay all right and that's done right i have traversed the whole string okay so now what i'm going to do i am going to traverse 0 1 2 3 4 5 so what i'm going to do i'm going to traverse this whole stack one by one and currently like first value i get 5 after that the second value i get 0 it means what does this mean this means like the substring from index 1 to 4 is a valid one substring from index 1 to 4 is a valid one whose length is 4 okay and after that there is no valid there is no more indexes so i have got a length 4 which means it is a valid because the indexes of valid substring will not be in the stack because i am removing them okay all right i think the intuition for this approach will be very very clear to you now let's take one more example a bit complex one and again understand what we are going to do okay but i think the intuition will be a bit clear okay all right so simply let's put this bracket let's put this bracket let's put this bracket okay and uh, let's put this bracket again and let's put this bracket again this bracket again this bracket and this bracket okay so this is my sum substring okay all right uh, let's add the indexes as well 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to simply use a stack let's open it let's make a small one okay uh, this is my answer which is currently zero meaning there is no valid substring okay all right now first of all when i get a opening parenthesis i will simply add it to my stack that index so zero index is added okay again i get an opening parenthesis whenever i will get an opening parenthesis i will blindly add it okay all right again now at two index i get a closing parenthesis i will check in a stack is stack dot p a opening parenthesis yes it is so pop it pop that okay all right again when i get to three it is a opening parenthesis blindly add third index four is a opening parenthesis blindly add five is a opening parenthesis blindly add six is a closing parenthesis so whenever i get a six uh closing parenthesis i will check in a stack is look is uh, stack dot peak uh, opening parenthesis yes five is the opening parenthesis here you can see so pop it moving on seven so whenever i get i get seven closing parenthesis i will check in stack stack dot peak is four four is the opening parenthesis okay so pop it out okay all right and after that all the substrings are done so we can see there are two uh, only two entries left in stack which is zero and three okay all right now what we are going to do so uh, it means first of all there is a substring from index 1 to 2 uh, 1 because look 0 0 is there 3 is there so it means 1 to 2 there is a parenthesis there is a substring which is valid okay of length 2 
After that, there is one more substring from length four to from length four to uh, stack dot length minus one because I'm using indexes. So from four to seven, whose length is four? Because look, from you will thinking what from where this seven got? So this seven come from the string dot length minus one. Okay, all right. So this is of length four, two and four. Which one is maximum? Four. So I will simply return four. It is the longest valid parenthesis. Okay. All right. I think the problem intuition and the approach will be crystal clear to you now, and we should move on to the code section. But before that, let's take one more simple example of this. Okay. All right. So now what I am going to do? I am going to simply first of all zero index will be filled, and after that one one came uh, zero will be popped. Now stack is empty. So how can I get ki yar which uh, what is the longest valid parenthesis? Because if suppose this is my sub my string, then also my stack will be empty because after all this whole string is a valid parenthesis. Okay. So how I am going to approach this? Very very simple. At starting I am going to put minus one. At first of all, when I will initialize my stack, I will put minus one, and after that, what I'm going to do uh, when whole first and after that, when whole of the string is traversed, my limit, my limit will be what? My limit will be this string dot length, which is currently six. Okay, and after that, uh, first of all, I I will pop the stacks entries one by one. I get minus one. So what will be my answer? My answer at any point will be limit. Minus my stack dot pop, which is minus one, and I will also do minus one once more because I'm using limit, which is array dot length, string dot length. Okay, so what limit is six minus minus plus one and plus one. Okay, so plus one this uh, will be cut and six will be my answer. So yes, six is correct as well. So this is how I'm going to tackle when there is a full uh, what we say. Full valid parenthesis. Okay, so uh, that's clear. Like I have, uh, we have tackled both the things when there is a valid parenthesis from starting and when there is a valid parenthesis at the end. Okay, all right. Let's quickly move on to the code section and write the code of it because I think I have explained it in very detail and it will be crystal clear. But before that, if you have loved the explanation, if you have loved the approach, uh, if you have loved the my way of is teaching please subscribe the channel and like the video comment down how was the explanation and let's move on to the code section okay so first of all i'm going to use a stack of integer type ht is equal to new stack and guys if you have not uh, uh, if you have not having pen and paper please sit with pen and paper because it will really help you so first of all stack dot push minus one uh, because as i've told to tackle the starting valid parenthesis okay i've used minus one now i'm just going to do int i is equal to zero i is less than s dot length i plus plus okay so what is my logic if s dot caret i is equal to closing bracket and and ht dot length ht dot size is greater than one and and s dot uh, caret s dot caret what stack dot peak st dot peak is uh, equal to opening bracket it means i will pop so i will simply do st dot pop so what i have written here uh, first of all like if there is a closing bracket then only i will check otherwise what i am going to do i am going to simply push so what i am going to push not the bracket but the index so st dot push i okay uh, so this is the second thing but what i am doing here look first of all this minus one is added by default so stack dot length stack dot length at that point should be greater than one first thing and that peak stack peak look so this is just a condition to check this condition okay because if stack dot size is one so it will definitely be minus one and when i will do s dot caret minus one it will be out of bound because like a string i can um I trade from zero, so it will be minus one. It will be out of bound. So that's why I'm using this character here. And if stack dot peak is close opening bracket, and uh, this current is a closing bracket, I will pop out. Okay, all right. I have already explained it in detail. Now moving on. When I will come to thirty eight line, all the valid uh, substrings, all the valid parentheses substrings will be removed from the stack, and only 
invalid will and invalid uh, parenthesis indexes will remain so i can simply check okay what i'm going to do i'm going to use int limit is equal to s dot length you can use any better as well answer is equal to zero okay and now i'm going to do while not stack dot is empty simply pop them one by one okay so let's suppose p is equal to st dot pop and now i'm going to update my answer if answer is equal to math dot max of current answer and the valid parenthesis is sub string length i am getting currently so what i told limit minus stack dot p uh, stack like the index and minus one okay all right so that is it and after coming out of here look i have to update my limit as well so my limit will be now p okay and after that coming here i am just going to do return answer okay all right why i am doing this here uh, you can simply get that idea uh, because look for this for this my stack will be like zero will be there and one two three four five five will be there okay so what will be my answer limit which is for first time limit will be s dot length okay and uh, so first of all when five will be popped out my answer will be what limit which is six like the s dot length which is currently six minus p stack dot pop five minus one zero so it means first of all when five will be popped out there is no valid parenthesis length okay after that uh, my limit will be updated my limit is now five okay so limit is now five after that when stack is popped out p p is zero okay so what will be my answer limit which is five minus zero minus one which is four so we are using one indexed s dot length so that's why i'm doing minus one here and updating my limit after everything okay all right i think it will be crystal clear to you now let's try to submit it directly uh, meanwhile again i'm saying if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel like the video comment down how was the explanation and i think it is getting accepted so yeah that was it for today i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye